best uh, Las Vegas. Send yeah. your car now. Yeah. There, there's an understanding. There's an understanding. There's an understanding that we have to do something, and I think that we're, we're looking very closely at the governor's bill. We have a new chairman of healthcare um, who is North Shore guy. Yes, he is, and and he's digging right right into it, and and he's going to have some recommendations. And I'm hopeful that we will begin to have hearings um, probably in the fall, and and you know maybe. By the end of the year, there's a 70 percent chance we can get something. But I think at least by next spring, uh, we will have uh, either a version of the governor's bill that we're ready to endorse or uh, debate the Senate with uh, as, as they do whatever they're doing. Now. And we all know Dick Moore is probably active right now working on a bill that uh, works off the, the, the governor's bill. But I think that it's very likely we'll have something. Uh, I think it's it's seventy percent this year, and, and you know, maybe if not, we'll kick it into the next year. But I think that there is an understanding that the speaker has, has said publicly that that he wants to do something. Um, I think he understands that uh, it's an issue we, we we have to address that on some way, way shape, or form. And, and do we have all the answers? I don't know. I mean, we tried this once before, and in the, in the, several times. Uh, yes, in, in, the, in the pushback, the, the one thing that, that I'll say about this: if this doesn't work, it'll be changed very quickly because because the groundswell, that is, the, the patient revolt was was so strong. That is a really, really important point. I mean, execution on this really matters. Yeah. I mean, if people, if people, if, if, the, if some sort of legislation passes and you get more than twenty percent of the market. 20% of the population moving in this direction, and you get away or fast and all the rest. And people do not execute on the ground yeah. so that people believe that they the are point. being, you know, badly treated by a system that many of them view as, as a complicated and difficult system uh, to navigate anyway. Then you bet they're going to show up in the offices of your yeah. members, and you, you folks will respond to that. Yeah. So that puts a big burden on it. Yeah, it, it you execute it, 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 it does. Yeah. You know, it's interesting. Up in, up in Lowell, where the physicians affiliated with Lowell General Hospital have done this, some of their patients feel like they're in a concierge practice. And they're actually in this, what you might think of as a more limited um, limited practice. And so it's, it's interesting. But it's absolutely, and again, I think the physicians are the key. I think people trust their physicians. It's going to be physicians educating both their patients and other physicians and saying, I can practice better medicine that way. If that doesn't happen, all the legislation and, and discussions and financing mechanisms won't be successful. I think I'm going to punt it on that note, except to say, first of all, that uh, if you'd like to continue to follow this discussion, there's going to be another briefing at the Suffolk Law School for their Institute for Executive Education, which is going to feature Bill Fleming, who's the COO of Norwood, Barbara Anthony, who's the Undersecretary of the Mass Office of Consumer Affairs, Eric Schultz, who's the CEO of Harvard Pilgrim, Mike Cantor, who's the Quality Medical Director for the New York Physicians Group, at least until September 30th, and um, Dana Safran, who is the Head of Performance Measurement and Improvement at Blue Cross.